What is up guys, today I have here the Acer Aspire V15 uh, This will be my new laptop, my new daily driver from now on So this is the Acer Aspire V15 uh, V3574G uh, 54VY model number So this one comes with a 5th generation Intel Core i5-5200U Which is a great CPU by the way, it's a dual core CPU uh, comes with the dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GT 940M which has 2, 2 GB of dedicated video memory 8 GB of DDR3 memory which I have upgraded it to 16 GB so 16 GB of RAM on this laptop is pretty decent uh, it performs really well and it 1000 GB hard drive so 1 TB hard drive one of the doubts that I had when I bought this laptop is whether or not the keyboard is backlit because yeah I didn't get to try this computer out at the showroom so let me just clarify for you guys the V3574G54VY does indeed have a backlight keyboard and yeah the backlight is evenly distributed and yeah it's adequately bright it gets the job done so if you want to turn the backlight off just do this and the backlight will turn off so turn off do this again and it will turn on and clarification number two, the screen is indeed a full high definition panel. So now let's take a look at the physical aspects of the laptop. So this is how it looks on the inside. Let me give you a closer look since I've got the lights turned on. And these are the hinges which, which are actually pretty good. It takes a fair bit of force to close and open the laptop. And on the top we've got the web camera it is a 1.3 megapixel webcam and the quality of it is okay and if you're in a well lit environment the quality of it is very good the screen is indeed matte finish so there are no reflections at all and also the screen is not a fingerprint magnet so that's a good thing yeah Dolby Home Theater, the speakers are really nice on this computer and I was told by the guy at the showroom that this is indeed metal I can't confirm it and yeah it's got a nice brushed aluminum finish I close the lid you can see the pattern aluminum top and yeah this is aluminum this I can confirm because it shows over here that the top of the laptop is indeed aluminum Let's take a look at what Acer is offering in terms of input output ports on this laptop. So on the left hand side we've got the headphone plus microphone jack. So it's a single jack solution. Two USB 3 ports, an HDMI out, the gigabit ethernet port and a standard VGA port for your old projectors, ventilator for the fan and a Kensington lock over here. And like I said, one of these USB ports supports powered off charging. It is this USB port. So right now my laptop is powered off. It's just plugged in into the wall charger. That's it. It's not turned on. So even if the power is unplugged, this USB port will charge your phone. So let me just demonstrate that over here. And again, it is completely turned off. It's not even plugged in. So let me just plug in the USB cable. And you can see the phone has started charging. Let me just pop open the Ampure app so I can show you the charging current. So it's charging it at 1.1 amps. So yes, the USB does output fair bit of current. And the good thing is you can even charge your phone while your laptop is turned off. On the front we've just got a SD card reader, the power LED. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let me just adjust the camera yep that's better 
so yes we've got the power LED we've got the battery charging indicator and interestingly there's no hard drive activity LED on this yep most of the laptops these days are omitting that and nothing much on the left hand side we've just got a USB 2.0 port and the DVD writer also your power goes in here if we look at the bottom side you can see there is no user replaceable battery so if you want to replace the battery you'll need to open the laptop and again there is no maintenance hatch on this so if you want to open this laptop you'll need to take out all of these screws take out the DVD writer and then lift up the uh, back cover and it's not that difficult but yeah it just adds to the inconvenience and you can see the heat pipe from the graphics card over here going to the fan and yeah cleaning the fan isn't really that difficult I've already had it open twice you guessed it right guys the speakers of this laptop are mounted underneath here is one speaker and here is another one by the way the sound quality of this laptop is pretty good uh, it does get a little bit muffled up once you keep it on the bed but on a table like this the sound quality is pretty crisp and the speakers are pretty loud and here is the power brick it's a 65 watt adapter it outputs 19 volt at 3.42 amps this is how it looks like and yeah, it's fairly heavy nice big cord on it and this is where the power cord goes in that's it now the specifications of this laptop include a core i5 CPU, a 5th generation dual core processor clocked at 2.20 GHz, uh, which turbos up to 2.70, a GeForce GT 940M which has 2 GB of video memory, 16 GB of RAM, DDR3 RAM by the way. Uh, originally this computer comes with 8 GB but I did go ahead and increase it and because this is a GT class GPU you don't get the battery boost or the shadow play option and again your computer will not be able to stream to Nvidia Shield unlike the GPU on the desktop which is a GTX class GPU so that's that's alright because I'm not gonna be streaming games from this laptop to uh, another computer or anything I've got the desktop computer to stream games and do heavy stuff on it so so this configuration puts it somewhere around mid-range and again the keyboard is indeed backlit which is awesome and with this computer you also get a one terabyte hard drive okay so I've got Dota 2 running over here on maximum settings on 1080p and the FPS counter is somewhere around 35 to 40 I haven't seen it dip below 30 so the gameplay stays smooth all the time and yes I have played Dota 2 on this computer many times since I bought it let me show you the settings yeah you guys can see it is running at 1080p with all of these settings maxed out and you don't really need high quality water or anti-aliasing turned on and you can always decrease the shadow to high settings to get more FPS out of this thing but yeah even though it's maxed out the game is running just fine the gameplay is pretty smooth let me show you the fan noise hope you guys can hear it and yes a hidden feature of windows 10 is you can record the gameplay I uh, just press the window key and the G alphabet to bring up the Xbox recording feature so you can take a screenshot or you can start or stop a recording so currently it is recording the gameplay and yeah there is a slight impact on the FPS of the game it's dipping below 30 now even dip down to 25 So let's stop the recording. Yeah, I don't I don't see any visible reduction in the frame rate. It's still pretty smooth. You can see it's all you can see it's also recording my sound as I speak over here. So let's stop the recording. 
So as soon as I stop the recording, the FPS has gone up. Okay, so let's check the temperatures. I have the hardware monitor app running. Oops, sorry. Okay, so the highest temperature achieved on the CPU is 84 degrees Celsius, which is okay. It is in range of the CPU thermal specification. And on the GPU, the maximum temperature achieved is around 79 degrees. And yes, the game has been running since around 15 minutes. So the thermals are just fine. The fan is a bit noisy though. It's still less noisy than my previous laptop. And yeah, I think I'm comfortable with these sort of temperatures uh, on this laptop, even though the game is running on ultra settings. Here is the gameplay that we recorded using the built-in game recording app of Windows 10. Yeah, it's okay. The quality is exactly the same as it was in the game. And here is a screenshot that I took while I was in the game. Okay, so the Acer Aspire 574G comes with Windows 10 Home Edition, but uh, since I've gone ahead and swapped the hard drive of this laptop with my older laptop, this one's uh, running Windows 10 Pro with all of my original applications from my uh, old laptop installed. So Microsoft Office is there. Uh, you'll get the trial version of Microsoft Office with this, so you'll need to purchase that. And this is the hard drive which it comes with. Um, unfortunately this hard drive is a bit slow and sluggish so uh, currently this one's, uh, this one's got a western digital blue hard drive which is faster than this one and if you're wondering if whether or not if I had any troubles installing the drivers after swapping out the hard drive the answer is no um, Windows Update does install each and every driver itself automatically so the Acer Quick Access, the Dolby Digital, the Nvidia Optimus driver and Acer Care Center have been installed automatically so no issues regarding the drivers for those of you wondering how the keyboard typing sounds like on this computer here is a quick demo Yeah, I really like the keyboard of this laptop. The keys are very responsive. The keyboards have a tactile feedback. And lastly, coming to the touchpad, this is again a multi touchpad and it supports gestures like you can use two fingers to scroll a web page and you can use pinch to zoom. If you want to switch between windows, you can use three fingers to do this and you can easily switch to, through all of these windows. So let me show you pinch to zoom. It works alright. But yeah, you can see it does miss sometimes. And yes, I'd like to say this touchpad sort of um, takes time to get used to because the buttons over here aren't really separate. So, and yes, if you ask me, I do miss the old dual button touchpad and just because it was a little bit easier to work on but yeah this one like I said this one takes a bit of time to get used to but screen comparison with my LCD screen on my desktop and yes uh, I can clearly tell the difference between these two this one is uh, displaying a lot more colors it's the picture is more saturated more lifelike than the one on this 
uh, this one's a little bit washed out if you compare it with this but if you're not comparing it with another LCD screen this one is pr a pretty darn good display so uh, again I don't really want to do uh, much nitpicking here because the LCD screen on this is actually pretty good it's a full high definition screen uh, the co I do have an issue with the color reproduction especially if you look at this area and the area over here this one's a bit more yellow this one's bluish so yeah um, again if you aren't looking at this screen if you aren't comparing the screen with another one this one is pretty good and here's a comparison with a bluish picture yeah the screen has a slight bluish tint to it even though I've turned on this Acer um, blue shield protection which sort of reduces the blue tint on the screen now you can really see how blue the screen is but yeah again I don't really want to do nitpicking over here because the screen is actually pretty good on this laptop and it's not turning on there we go now for the conclusion I'd say this is a pretty darn good laptop uh, very few laptops offer a GT 940M and a core i5 CPU uh, I saw ASUS offering a similar thing but it was priced a little bit higher than this and the inside of it was plastic unfortunately so this one's the best bet even you get you, you even get a backlit keyboard and a full high definition LCD uh, also coupled with a one terabyte hard drive and do keep in mind this one comes with eight gigabytes of RAM I did go ahead and upgrade it to 16 gigs you get two memory slots in this laptop so yeah guys it's a good purchase and if you're looking for a good mid-range gaming laptop go ahead and buy this and again the GPU on this is a 940M 2.20 GHz Core i5 CPU thank you for watching see you all later